First of all, can I ask you to give me your full name, please? Jen Thompson Taylor. You were oh. born in Lowick. How did you get to be in Liverpool? There was no work at the beginning of the war. So we applied for jobs in uh, Roundtrees in York and uh, at the chocolate factory, you know. And we all went down on the train. Coming back, we met half a dozen soldiers and there was half a dozen of us. So we said we'd write to them. So we did. That's the fellow I married. <laughs> <laughs> and he was from Liverpool, was he? And he was from Liverpool. <laughs> so um, we started writing to them. And they went up to the Orkney Islands. And uh, he was very lucky because they set some uh, guns up on the Orkney Islands, some big, big aircraft guns. And they got the gun up and then they put a shell in it but it wouldn't go. So they took it out, and when it came out, it exploded, and there was only a couple of them left. He was very lucky. That, that obviously is the Second World War that you're talking about, but you were born just before the First World War, don't yes. you? weren't you? Do you remember any of that? I can remember the Zeppelins over our house in Sunderland. I was living in Sunderland then. But I also remember... It didn't seem to bother us, the, wet, the, the war and that. We just went out just the same. Went to dances and that, but there was no lights. You had to have no lights and the windows were all covered up and everything, you know. But you went out and you did things just the same. Well, let's, let's talk about your life in Liverpool. When, when did you come to live here? Uh, when uh, my husband came out of the army. We came to live here. And what we did, we put our names down for a house in York or a house here. And we got a house here, which was the prefabs, Condren Road. Which area was that? The cemetery is. Yes. It's the other side of the yes. cemetery. Off, off Sefton Lane. We, we got the prefab there. So I brought all the furniture and everything here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we set up house here. So that would be, what, the 1940s, after the Second World War? Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. right. At that time, all the houses that are here in Ford wouldn't have been here, would they? No, there was nothing what, here. What was it like? Well, there was nothing. The, the canal was lovely. And uh, I used to ride across the canal, had a bike and rode across the canal, and went to work for a doctor in Crosby, you know, and then come back. But... Um, there was no houses here, and then when they started to build, we decided to apply for a house here, so we, we got it. Were the prefabs comfortable? Oh, yeah, they were lovely, but we had uh, Yeah, they were they're really lovely. When we went in, there was a lovely hall, uh -huh. a toilet in the hall, and a bathroom, and an airing cupboard. Then you come into the living room here, which was quite good. Just a big living room, you had a dining room, like a dining room come living room. And then there was the bedroom up there, and the kitchen was up here. It's a um, so sliding door to the kitchen. And when you got in the kitchen, you'd turn right, and there was another bedroom there. But it was only a small kitchen, but there was a table that came down from the wall for you to sit. Did you have room outside for a little garden to grow things? Oh, we had a garden outside. <clears throat> and I had a father-in-law, that I'll tell you this, we had a father-in-law that went to sea. And I, unknown to me, the, bo the boys had asked him to bring something. I had two boys. When he come home, he come to the door, and I'd come pop in the monkey. So we had a monkey. Eventually another woman got it and... Did, did you work in those days, or were you just bringing up your children? No, I worked. I worked for a doctor over Crosby, and I used to ride over there on the bike every day. Where, whereabouts in Crosby was that? Esh Road. Hmm. He'd been in the army, the doctor, as well. He'd been a doctor in the army and that. He was, he was a good doctor. Mm -hmm. and, and then he moved. He was in Esh Road, and then he, 
He lived in Ashford. He didn't work in Ashford. He lived in Ashford. He worked a bit further on. So you must have been one of the very first people to move into the houses here, were you? Oh yes, I was one of the first to move. Yes. Into, you know. And how different was that from life in your prefab? Oh, <laughs> quite different, you know. But it was nice, you know. Gradually got everything over, you know. Were there many shops? There's a little row of shops here now, no, of course. No, there was no shops or anything. So where would you have to go to do your shopping? Down Sefton Road. Oh. You know, down where the shops are now, yeah. by the town hall, you know. There, there were shops there. The co-op was there. We used to go and shop there. How things have changed. There wasn't, when, when you come over the bridge, there was hardly anything here, you know. It was empty. If you've lived in this world for a hundred years, you must have lots of stories to tell. <laughs> <laughs> what what have been your, your happiest times? It's always been quite good times, really, you know. Can't say I've had a miserable life. <laughs> you've lived up in the northeast, and now you've lived down here in the northwest, or <laughs> a little bit south-northwest. Um, how do you compare those places? Can you, do you still go up to the northeast? I have... Uh, people in York. We moved, we moved to York in the beginning of the war, so I have uh, relations in York. We were, we were either going to come here or go to York, you know, but we got the house here, so we come here. <laughs> did, did you and your husband enjoy what, going to the cinema, going out dancing? What did you do with yourselves? My husband used to go to the Legion. I used to go to the Crosby Caledonians. And... Uh, I used to go there. I still do. I still go. You still dance? Up to now I've still danced, but I, think I've, I don't think I'll be doing much more. <laughs> <laughs> we were at, uh, the last time I've been, we were at the Brutal Town Hall, and it was my birthday, so we were celebrating it with some others. You know, we had a big do there. It was a Scottish country dance. That nice. Was, that was your 100th birthday, was it? Yeah. Yes. How else did you celebrate it? We had a part a, a, a do with um, the Royal in Cross, you know. In Waterloo. Waterloo, yes. were there. And I never thought there'd be anything else, but wherever I went, there was a party. You know, they were doing parties for me. <laughs> when ladies or gentlemen get to be 100, what it is they think has kept them going all this time and, and so strong. Any ideas? No. Yeah. <laughs> no ideas at all. Just the look of the drawer. <laughs>